This question is almost entirely about vocabulary. You need to understand what they're telling you when they say that two lines are perpendicular. Basically, it has to do with slope. So it's good that they asked about slope. We're going to need it. So the first step would be, let's take the line that we know, 4y plus 8x equals 6, and let's convert it into y equals mx plus b so that we can understand the slope of that line in a more coherent way. So 4y plus 8x is 6. I would subtract 8x from both sides. I would get 4y is equal to negative 8x plus 6. And then I would have to divide everything by 4. Now that is convenient when I need to divide the slope. It's a little annoying when I have to do the y-intercept, but the y-intercept doesn't matter. So you don't even have to bother with it. I'll just simplify it to 3 halves. But it doesn't actually matter for what we need to do. We need to focus on the slope. So if I have two lines and they are perpendicular, they will have negative reciprocal slopes. Okay, that sounds worse than it is. Basically, if negative 2 over 1 is the slope of line P, then to be perpendicular, line R would have to have a slope that is flipped and reversed, right? So negative means it becomes now positive, and reciprocal means you flip a fraction upside down. So it has a slope of 1 half. Okay, so that would be our answer. You can bubble it as one half like this. You can bubble it as 0.5. That's a, a case where either way doesn't matter. Um, now, if you were a little unsure, you could check it. I mean, we don't have a y-intercept for this particular line. It doesn't really matter. It's fine. We could do it uh, without one. But we could say 4y plus 8x is equal to 6. There's my line. And then for the other one, I'll just keep it in y equals mx plus b because that's how we kind of understand it. So it's a slope of 1 half, so 0.5x. And you can see perpendicular means they form a right angle. So you can see just in this picture that these two lines are clearly perpendicular. The problem is if you've played with your calculator and you've messed with the scale, I think it's going to mess up. So if I, if I elongate the scale, yeah. So if I just elongate the x-axis here and stretch it, it's, it's not going to look perpendicular anymore. So it needs to be a one-to-one -one kind of situation, and now I've ruined it. But uh, there we go. That's kind of close to being back to normal. Um, so that, that is a frustrating thing. If you do want to graph it, it is, is the scale has to be correct in the same direction, right? It has to be the same uh, uh, scale on the x side as on the y side. And you can adjust those things, but... Um, I do think that this question is really not about graphing, it's about vocabulary. If you see that word perpendicular for algebra, for lines, you really need to instantly jump to this idea of negative reciprocals. That's going to be how you are required to think about these questions.